aggressive stance, chicken dance. Subtle aggressive body language. Many of our parrots would prefer not to harm a flock mate that he or she feels close to, and yet many parrot owners will testify that getting bitten is just part of having a pet parrot. When parrots bite, it is important for the victim to realize that most bites occur because we fail to properly read our bird's body language. Most parrots will signal that they are upset, irritable, or feeling threatened before it comes down to a bite. And though some of these signals can seem very subtle or non-ex- Uh, non-existent to us, it is important to always be aware of how your bird is carrying itself as an attention, uh, as an attentive owner may be able to avoid being bitten as often. We call one of these subtle signals of aggression the chicken dance because nearly all parrots will hold the shoulders of the wings out and away from the body when they are feeling threatened. This behavior may or may not be accompanied by a bird who is standing tall, nape or head feather fluffing, eye pinning or tail fanning. Most birds will flatten the back at least partially while doing the chicken dance. A bird who is in an aggressive stance like this, uh, a bird who is in an aggressive stance like this but has his head up and above the shoulder level may not yet be agitated enough to bite. That's a may, may not. <laughs> When the parrot lowers his head below shoulder level uh, concurrent with wings, with wings out and flattening back, the bird is likely preparing to strike. Mm-hmm. And that's a very agitated Congo African gray. It's the same one I took the, the picture of uh, earlier when he was doing a feather fluff. He was very agitated. He was roosting. He was with his mate. They were probably in, right in breeding season. And I came really close to his cage with a camera. Um, he was very courteous to me and then did a big feather rumble to say, eh, forget, forget it. You're not worth it. But Um, that was him being very agitated. You'll notice the back is flat, and I have another. Well, I have another picture in a minute of him. But um, this is Indian ringneck Chrissy, and uh, this is an aggressive stance. Mm-hmm. She's extremely cage aggressive, so it was easy to get some photos. Um, you'll notice in that picture on the left how uh, you know how drastically she's holding her wings away from her body. If you look at her right now, those of you who can see her, you can almost <coughs> not see the wings as they blend in with her, the rest of her feathering. So she's very agitated in that picture. Um, she does have her back flat, but because she's pressed up against something, she's like smashing herself against the side of the cage bars, um, poofing her chest out, trying to look big. Um, you'll notice at this angle, this was the same, um, the same uh, angle right next to that photo. Um, her nape feathers are fluffed, and she she's uh, also eye pinning. Um, the top right picture, you can see eye pinning. <coughs> the back is flattened. That's a that's a very aggressive stance. Get away from my cage. This is my space. And see how far the wings are held away from the body. There's a gap there. Um, so that's a very agitated bird. That uh, that last picture there in the lower right hand corner, that's Chrissy um, in a relaxed position. No, no eye pinning. Um, you can't really readily see the wing, but the wing is there. It just kind of blends in with the rest of the body. Um, yeah, she's not stretching tall and not arching her back. Um, that's a that's a happy parrot. So. Yeah. And she seems to be getting better since I've just been forced to be taking her away from it and talking to her and her You know, ca- cage aggressive issues are really hard to handle, but the, the thing that I can um, suggest to you, especially since you have a ring neck, um, is to respect her space for a while, at least a while. Take her out of the cage, even, you know, even if you know, she gets upset like that. Take her out of the cage before you change her papers before you service her cage in any way, touch her food, touch her water, take her away where she can't see it. And then every time you come to the cage, it's a happy thing. Mom's here to play with me. Mom's here to give me treats. This is awesome. Um, that will decrease the chances of her being aggressive. She may still be aggressive. I can step Chrissy up in that position. Step mm-hmm. up and she won't bite me, but I'm her mate. If anybody else tried to step her up, even when she was in that aggressive stance, uh, forget it. Yeah, you're going to get bit. So you know you need to know your bird, and if it's a cage aggressive bird, just minimize minimize how much you're invading her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And use it. 
Well, the problem with a cage aggressive bird is that they can't just stay in there forever. And if they're going to be aggressive, a, a really good thing to do is to stick train them so that they don't learn to bite you. Um, they know the difference. She doesn't. Oh well, if she doesn't bite you, she's just saying like, ah, this is my cage. This is my cage. But if she's if she's if she's not biting you, even though she's getting aggressive like that, it's the same as Chrissy. She knows you're her mate. She knows you're here to pick her up. But she's still going to let you know this is my space. This is my space. So yeah, that's okay. Uh, yeah. Do you? This way. <laughs> Hi. Do you have any pictures of that wonderful stretching behavior they do when they wake up? I call it birdie tai chi. And it really is just a stretch. With the, with the foot with the, in the with back. The I had the one I had the one Amazon back in the beginning. Just one? Yes. Um, I didn't see that. Oh. I missed it. I can show you again after All my done. African words do that. And, and, it's uh, beautiful. It is wonderful. They fan the tail and they put their leg back right. and stretch their wings. It's beautiful. I think it is birdie tai chi. You know, it's just kind of it is. taking their minds back into the day. Absolutely. I believe that because parrots are really in tune with their body and their, their feelings and what their body says is usually kind of what their feelings say. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's that African gray again. In that, uh, in that first picture, he's saying, get away from my nest, my mate, the mate, you can see the mate back there in the, in the background, um, that's my mate, get away. Um, second picture, starting to let it go, he's in the middle of a feather rumble. Um, still looks really poofed up, but uh, if, if you were there in person, you would note that in the first picture where he's got his back flat, his wings out, everything's fluffed up, he was standing stiff as a board still like that. Um, in the second photo, he's like shaking it off and it's a quick movement and then he'll slip his feathers down again. Um, that last photo is a relaxed African gray. All of the feathers are, are down and he's in a, a relaxed uh, reclined position. So, the, the photo there on the lower left, um, that's an aggressive Benny Bat too. He, he uh, was very upset with me. I had a cockatiel on my shoulder and he's scared to death of cockatiels, very threatened by them. So, <laughs> yes, horrible mean cockatiels. And so he's got his wings out there doing the chicken dance, and he, he's one of those birds, again, that fluffs all of the feathers out. Um, that middle photo there, he's doing the feather rumble and, and getting rid of the anxiety, and um, then he moves on to, to play with some food. So you'll notice in that last picture that all of his feathers are, are slicked back down. That's a, that's a resting position, uh, position for most cockatoos. Um, that's just a, a playful... I'm here and I'm happy position. You'll notice that the wings are back flush with the body and not poofed way out. More, more aggressive birdies. Um, upper left hand corner, this is again blue and gold macaw Sydney. She's a very good example of uh, overstimulated and uh, aggressive birdies. She's got her wings out, she's standing real tall in that photo. Um, she's got her back partially flattened and uh, she thinks she's real tough. Um, the photo of the Amazon uh, right next to her, he's fluffing his nape. Now that particular Amazon, that's all he did when he, when he was aggressive. He just fluffed the nape. He rarely ever fluffed the, the wings out. He's, he was kind of an exception. Um, but if his nape, nape was fluffed like that and eye pinning, don't, don't touch him. So um, next to him again is Sydney. Um, as well as the one in the middle on the bottom. Those are all Sydney and she is holding her wings out. She is acting showy, but this, this showiness is not for attention. Um, the first picture up there is because she is cage aggressive and she was trying to, to tell me to get away from her cage. The bottom one, she tends to get nervous and aggressive and showy.